I am Sel Jenna Sibley, and you're watching Stingray Sea Music. The way I came into singing, I was little, and I um, suddenly got an interest to um, play the piano. My parents have always pushed me to, to try different things though, so that was something that I tried and I loved it and I pursued it. And after a year or two I started the violin. But the way I got uh, into singing was at school here. I moved to Oxford um, to finish school. I actually got interested in jazz singing, <laughs> but the, the teacher at the time said nope. Your, your voice is not suited for jazz. You need to you need to pursue classical music. And so I did, and I grew to love it. And then I got into the world college of music, and that's where it all started. <laughs> The way I got into opera is because I was playing the piano and violin, I was always exposed to it. And I used to go to concerts, to um, operas in Azerbaijan, or I also grew up partly in Istanbul as well. The first piece that I sang, I remember, in singing lesson was Carmen, actually, Carmen Zaria. I, I just, I, I got hooked. <laughs> The reason why I chose this repertoire on my album, it's a mix of where I'm from. It's a mix of me connecting to that particular music because I grew up in, in the Orient, Azerbaijan. We have our own classical folk music and a lot of the sounds that I was hearing in these pieces were very much connected to that music. I wanted something that was a part of me, but then is also, you know, in opera and, uh, uh, classical music. Yalcin Adgozalov, who's the conductor on the project, he encouraged me to explore uh, 20th century repertoire. When I discovered what he does with um, the music, because he, he was so connected to Sufism and he was practicing it actually, which is Sufism is a, uh, a branch of Islam actually. <laughs> I was learning all, along the way. It wasn't something that I was um, completely exposed to. I didn't want to include anything in the album that I wouldn't um, connect to emotionally. It's hard to pick a favorite because <laughs> they're, they're all really different uh, characters, but they have one thing in common, which is that suffering, um, you know, deaths. Uh, lost loves, so you know, they, all of this is in, is in common. But the one that's affected me the most emotionally would be Andromach's farewell, because she loses her son and she has to kill him right there. So, you know, I don't have children, but just I imagining that was terrible. One of the pieces I included in the album is the Queen of Shamaka, her aria. It's a tale from Pushkin uh, called The Golden Cockerel. It's actually set in what is now today Azerbaijan. It's the, the area, the region is called Shamaka, and she's called the Queen of Shamaka. Western writers, they would say it's a fairy tale place, but it's actually not. It's, it's set pretty much in Azerbaijan. The way Rimsky Korskov wrote it is very much in the same way that classical folklore would have been, is written actually. So with classical folklore music in Azerbaijan, you would have the main melody and then an improvisation on it. It's as if she's singing on that improvisation, which I found really similar and wonderful to um, collate, really, yeah. One of my most memorable performances would be performing in Baku, my hometown. I performed there with Yalcin Adgozalov, who's the conductor in the album. It was just, I don't want to say surreal, but it, it, there was that element to performing there because my dad 
was not so happy with me going into music. And to have him in the audience and to have my parents, my siblings and stuff there, yeah, it was just, it was, uh, it was good. It was like coming home and perform. There's, there's something about performing in your hometown that is different to the rest of the world that you perform in. I think it's important to, especially nowadays, explore different genres in, within classical music. There are so many subjects now going on with, with uh, politics. I think we have to be kinder to each other, and one way of doing that for us musicians is to incorporate other cultures into our repertoire. Mm -hmm. 